Lots of interesting statistics from yesterday's rugby in the borders. For the first time this season, all four Hoik senior teams won on the same day. Hoik got their first win away from home, as did Kelso, and the visitors in all three of the RBS Borders Regional Cup games were the away teams. So let's begin with Hoik's win at Peebles in the cup competition. New coach Phil Leck enjoyed his first victory at the second attempt with a convincing 37-7 win. His side scored five tries from Greg Cottrell, Bruce McNeil, Gary Johnston, Stephen Anderson and Rory Hutton, with Neil Rennick on target with three conversions and a couple of penalty goals. A late Matt Carrier try for Peebles converted by Gary Dodds was all they could muster at a windswept and soaking guites. We hear first from Hoik's new man in charge, Phil Leck. I think we're all enjoying what we're doing. We we have based a lot of emphasis on... On working for each other because, as I said to the lads, we, you know, there's nobody else. It's just us. So if we don't all come together and work together and, and enjoy it together, because you know, what do we play for? We we play to enjoy the game, and you know, they wanted to come out and, and perform, and they wanted to try all the things that they've been doing, and they, they were just absolutely up for it. Peebles director of rugby Graham Patterson. We didn't start well, and that's been a kind of a theme. Throughout the season in Peebles, you know, we've we've not started well and we continued that, unfortunately, today and leaked two or three tries through really individual errors, tackles being missed, really just one thing going wrong, which allowed Hoyk to get in behind us and, and score a try. And that's something that, you know, just down to the individual, not really a team thing. Also in the RBS Cup, there was a real game of two halves in every sense of the phrase, as Melrose rattled up 29 points without reply against Jed Forrest at Riverside Park inside 25 minutes, and then drew a blank for nearly an hour after that. Following the break, Jed stormed back with 17 points of their own and were unlucky not to get try and losing bonus points. But it was Melrose quick out of the blocks with four tries from Fraser Thompson, Andrew Skeen, Joe Helps and skipper Graham Dodds. Skeen converted three of them and also kicked a penalty, while Ian Chisholm with a brace and Connor Hogg scored the tries for Jed, Andy McLean converting one of them. Reaction first from Melrose head coach Craig Chalmers. Played well first half. I could not follow my half time. You know when they had the ball, the pace and intensity. You know the, the tempo we played at was, was excellent. We looked after the ball really well and, and made Jed work really hard and we scored some really good tries. But the second half was a total opposite. We let Jed come to us and we stood off them and uh, I think we just thought the game was won and it's a bit embarrassing second half. Jed's boss Darren Cunningham. We went out and I think we just didn't have any belief in the first half and, you know, everyone I mean, you've seen were enough this year, you know, to, to, to know that we were much better than the first half showed. And, uh, again, there was some good stuff, but we were just lying off, giving them the game line. Things that, we, things that we, we've, we've spoke about not doing and trying to cut out of our game and we it's exactly what we did in the first half and, obviously, by doing so, we, we conceded three tries, like, almost straight away. And, you know, it's credit to um, Melrose. I mean, Melrose a good side and, and they put some really good stuff together and, and I think a lot of that, though, was because we... We, we sort of allowed them to do it in the first half and then the second half we came out and, and you know we got off the line in defence and we made made it hard for them we had started making our tackles a bit quicker and getting more men into the breakdown to, to turn them over and I got a bit more possession and that's when we started looking a bit more dangerous In the other cup clash down at Philip Hoch Selkirk slipped to a second home defeat in two weeks losing narrowly 7-6 to Kelso For Kelso it was their first win on the road this season playing with the wind in the first half they had all the territory in possession but could only score an Ali Marsh try, converted by Mark Chester in the opening 40 minutes, thanks to some superb defence from Selkirk. But it proved enough as Kelso's defence also held up well in the second period, and two David Cassidy penalties for the suitors brought them up just one point short. Kelso's latest signing, Kieran Cooney, spoke to me after the game. We got the try and um, yeah, we, I think we just sat back a little bit and then we let them use the wind in, the, in their second half. And um, yeah, it was just a, a dogfight at the end of the day. I think the, the weather really levelled the teams and um, it was just a good hard game. And credit to Selkirk, they came back at us. But yeah, like I say, we're just lucky to, to hold on to the win. Selkirk captain for the day was Gavin Craig. We were quite confident when we were only 7-0 down at half-time that we had the wind in the second half, but uh, we just didn't use the elements to our advantage. We've been working our defence at training and stuff and uh, just trying to get... It's always been a poor part of our game, the defence, and uh, just have to try and work on the attacking bit now as well, get back into that, because we used to be scoring tries, but they uh, just can't seem to be doing that now. Gala played a friendly against Watsonians, which they won 39-0, but they still topped the table on 13 points, with Hoik second on 10, Kelso third also on 10, and Melrose have nine points from their two matches played so far.
The other local results, the National League, Hoyt YM 65, Edinburgh University 7. That result keeps YM second in the table. Played 14-1-13. Langham's game at Garnock was postponed. East League Division 1, Duns 48, Forrester 3, Hoyt Lindeen 16, Portobello 13, Preston Lodge 69, Berwick 19. Division 2, Earlston 38, Broughton 7, Pennycook 10, Hoyk Harlequins 41, Dolkeith v Gala YM was a victim of the weather, Division 3, RDVC 24, St Boswell's 15 and Walkerburn against Edinburgh Northern was also off. Next week, there's a feast of rugby in the area, starting with Melrose versus Aberavon in the British and Irish Cup at the Greenyards kick-off there at 2 o'clock. Three RBS Cup games, Gala versus Hoyk, Peebles v Selkirk and Jed Forrest against Kelso. There's also the RBS Regional Shield semi-final between Hoyk YM and Hoyk Lindeen and another local derby in East League 2 between Hoyk Quinns and Earlston. For a complete fixture list for next week, plus a review of the results, news, video and audio, check out BordersRugby.net, free online, 24 hours a day.